Yes. What are you doing here, Max? Stop! Don't come near me! Not now. It won't work. I don't have any power. Now I have to do this by myself? Max, seriously, don't come near me. I will jump. Okay, okay. I'm right here. Kate, please. Oh, Max, I know you want to help me. I love that you stepped up to David, but it doesn't matter now. Nothing matters. Don't worry, Kate. Things will get better. I promise. I do want to believe that. Kate, your life is still yours. And we can get through this together. Let me help. I'm glad to hear you worry about me. That makes me feel better. I'll always be here for you, Kate. My new motto is, friends come first. I did feel better talking to you on the phone. I always feel like you really listen. Kate, please trust me. Come stand by me, okay? I can help you now. I know I can. This morning, I erased the web link to the video. It was written on the shower room mirror. That's your story now. How can I trust you? What about this morning when I needed help? You told me to do nothing. I'm gathering proof that Nathan Prescott drugged you. And you're not the only victim. So you have to help me take Nathan down. Nathan Prescott? That makes sense. He's a scumbag. You have proof now? Soon. Then straight to the police. Think of it like we're cleansing Blackwell. You do have my back, Max. That's the first time I've felt hopeful in a week. Good. We all need to have each other's backs. So, I want you to come with me now. Please, you don't have to do this. Max, I'm in a nightmare and I can't wake up. Uh, unless I put myself to sleep. Then everybody at Blackwell can post pics of my body. I'm already on the internet forever. No wonder they call it a web. Nothing can ever get out. Like my video. I wish I could go back in time and erase everything. This is our chance to beat the bullies. That's the only way we can win against them. Can we really, Max? I don't believe in miracles anymore either. Now I do. You're part of the reason why. If you come down with me, I can tell you more. You're such a good person, Max. Even if you're full of crap. But I'll come with you. You're my friend. Forever. Can we hug on it? No! Nobody cares about me! Nobody! You told me about your sisters. Especially the youngest one. What's her name? That's Lynn. She's only ten. She does have the best smile ever. I would hate to see her sad. talking about you saved me from talking in class now I know today was difficult for everybody but I'm so proud of the way Blackwell pulled together to save a young girl's life of course, you're quite a hero for getting Kate to come down, Max. I didn't do much. 
She's modest. Like a real hero. Yeah. Real hero. As principal of Blackwell Academy, I take my duties seriously. I take the well-being of every student more seriously. What happened today should never happen in a hall of wisdom and knowledge. Mr. Madsen, as our head of security here, those roof doors should always be locked. That's just standard operating procedure. They were not, and that is indeed your responsibility. Mr. Jefferson, I know you can't be expected to know what your students are going through, but Kate has assisted you in class, so you should have known something was amiss. Mr. Prescott, since you are responsible for the Vortex Club parties, and since Miss Marsh did attend your last party, you'll have to answer some more questions. Miss Caulfield, why exactly were you on the roof with Kate Marsh? Does she tell you her plan? Or anything at all? Please, tell us everything. All I know is that Kate was at a party and Nathan dosed her. She got wasted and kissed some boys on a viral video without a clue. I dosed her? <laughs> without a clue. Have you seen the video? Whatever. Kate was loaded and You're a liar. Field. You told Kate you took her to the emergency room. I said I was going to take her to the ER. She sobered up eventually. Bullshit. Something happened to her and you know it. How about we talk about you waving a gun in the girl's hey, bathroom? that's total slander. I could sue you and this school so fast. I already have a personal lawyer. Wait, Max. You told me that nothing happened yesterday. Are you just making things up? How can I trust you? You can't. She's smoking and selling dope, not saving lives. No, I'm not. And that has nothing to do with Kate Marsh. I'll have to investigate to see if this accusation is true. Therefore, Max, I'm obliged to contact your parents and suspend you for a few days. Excuse me. I think Max and Nathan need a break before we grill them further. A friend and student just tried to kill herself. They don't need this forum right now. Yes, I'm kind of devastated right now. I'd like to be with my family. All right, Miss Caulfield, please sign here to confirm what you've told us. I'll continue this investigation from there. My head is killing me, but... I think I can use my power again. Well, I think we know less now than when we started. We'll be assisting the police with further inquiries. I know this has been a stressful day. I wish I had the power to change it all for the better. So thank you for coming in. I couldn't even believe it was happening. It was literally slow motion as I grabbed her hand. And then I could feel her grabbing mine. Max, that was the greatest thing I've ever seen. Ever! You reached out, she reached out, hugs, tears, applause, like a superhero. Not quite. Look at me. I'm a mess. You're glowing. Seriously, a human halo. I'm pretty sure you earned your wings today. I'm still worried about Kate. She did try to kill herself. All over a video. Viral is the right word. Like a disease. So you watched it? Just one. And a half times. Warren, I don't mean to sound weird, but there's something ominous going on at Blackwell. Today proves that. And I'm working on proof that Kate Marsh is connected to Rachel Amber. Somehow along with Nathan and Mr. Madsen. I'm not a big conspiracy guy, but I wouldn't doubt it. Nathan did scare me yesterday, and Madsen is a straight-up dickhead. So, what do you think is really happening? 
What the hell is this? The weather confirms this weird day. I feel that chill. Max, there was no eclipse scheduled today. I would know. I would. I believe you, Warren. I believe anything this week. Unglaublich, die Geschichte am Ende. Wir sind also jetzt eine Heldin. Ich habe schon in vielen anderen Videos gesehen, dass es auch schief gehen hätte können. Aber da wir in der Mitte des, der Story etwas gut gehandelt haben, dass wir für die Kate da waren, dass wir ihr zugehört haben, als sie angerufen haben, hat hat es doch etwas äh, Positives auf sie bewirkt und wir konnten sie da letzten Endes doch noch äh, vom äh, Selbstmord retten. Das war der zweite Teil von Life is Strange Out of Time. Ich hoffe, euch hat es wieder gefallen und äh, würde mich freuen, wenn ihr in dem dritten Teil auch wieder dabei seid. Ich weiß noch nicht, wann ich jetzt äh, die nächste Folge starten werde. Ich muss erstmal diese Aufnahme jetzt erstmal hier schneiden und raushauen. Und ähm, ja, ich hoffe, euch hat es gefallen, der zweite Teil. Der dritte Teil wird jetzt demnächst auch folgen. Ich hoffe noch vor Weihnachten. Ja, ich bedanke mich und lasse jetzt den Erdspann noch ausklingen. Und melde mich gleich nochmal wieder.
ja, ich bedanke mich auch fürs Zuschauen und hoffe, dass ihr bald wieder einschaltet in der nächsten Folge. So, jetzt gucken wir uns noch kurz die Statistik an. 67. Du hast Kate gesagt, sie soll auf Beweise warten. Du hast Kate angerufen. Anruf angenommen. Du hast versucht, Frank zu erschießen. Ja. Kann man so sehen oder so sehen. Du hast Kate das Leben gerettet. 63%. Du hast Nathan, Nathan beschuldigt. 74%. Also... Wir haben doch ordentlich äh, Prozente gemacht. Okay. Ich verabschiede mich für diese Aufnahme, für diese Folge. Und bis zum nächsten Mal. Wenn es wieder heißt, Life is Strange, Teil 3. Bis dann. Ciao. No, she did. Max is a good girl. A woman. She's 18 now. Too old to get lectures from you or Sergeant Pepper. Call 